Welcome to Go Shindig. Today I'll be reviewing the Weber Connect Smart Grilling Hub Thermometer. Weber has to be the biggest name in the outdoor grilling and barbecue game. They have high-end gas grills, quality Komodo style grills, advanced pellet smokers, budget-friendly kettle grills and even electric grills. And if you think their range of grills is extensive, then their range of accessories is on a completely different level. However, the thermometer marketplace is one of the areas Weber has struggled with. So I'm going to put the Weber Connect Smart Grilling Hub through its paces and see if it's a piece of kit that deserves the Weber name. What's in the box? On opening the box, which opens like you're offering a ring to a loved one, you're presented with a nice looking thermometer. This unit comes with four probe ports and a port for a USB to micro USB charger. You only get two color coded probes, one food probe and one ambient probe. These probes come with a nice spool that makes it easy to pack the thermometer away after use. And the ambient probe comes with a grill grate clip. You also get a USB to micro USB charger cable. Lastly, you get the instruction manual. It's very intuitive what to do with this thermometer, so there are just a few basic images that lead you through the setup process. Setting up the thermometer. The first step in the instruction manual is to charge the device. So that's what I did. However, when I plugged it in, I did see the battery indicator flash in orange to say it already had half a charge. So if you are in a hurry, you can skip this step. Under the main unit of the Weber Connect, you'll find a small bit of paper with a QR code, which when scanned, takes you to a Weber customer care webpage with lots of information and help on the thermometer. The top subject on this web page is the setup instructions, so click on this. This leads to a new page with links to the iOS and Android app stores to download the thermometer app. Of course, you could just search for the Weber Connect in the app store yourself. Now, install the app, which will take a few moments. and then open the app. Once open, the only option available to you is to pair the device. Make sure the main unit is turned on and then press this button. You are then asked for consent for Weber to collect analytics data. I said no thanks, but you can change this later in the app if you want. The next option is to give the app access to your location or not. I gave access to the location when using the app. Your phone then looks for a Weber device to pair to via Bluetooth. Once it finds your thermometer, you'll get a button to press to confirm that this is the device you want to pair with. Press that button and then finish the final security check by pressing the device and you'll be connected to Bluetooth. That final step is just to make sure your neighbor doesn't connect to your Weber and mess with your cooks. Once paired, press the continue button and you'll be ready to start setting up Wi-Fi. Of course, you can skip this step and do it at a later date or not at all. But I am going to connect to Wi-Fi, so I press the extend range button. I don't know why, but there is now an option to select called set up Wi-Fi, even though that is what the last button implied. Select this option. Now you have to enter your Wi-Fi network's name and password. This was a little annoying, as most Wi-Fi devices I have used find a list of network names for you and I simply select my one. Once I had crawled down to where my router was for the network name, I entered this along with the password and hit the connect button. And as easy as that, I now had Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Key features. A barbecue thermometer basically has one job to read temperatures. Dual probe thermometers are designed to read both the internal temperature of the meat and the ambient temp of the grill. So to set themselves apart from the crowd, the best thermometers offer many nice extras. Let's run through these extras in the Weber Connect. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Old grilling thermometers would have probes connected to a display that you could read the temperature. Advances in technology have led to this display becoming a transmitter to transmit the readings to a receiver. 
meaning a pitmaster no longer needs to sit next to their grill to monitor their cooks. These modern thermometers first shipped with their own receiver, but now the most advanced thermometers let you use your own phone as a receiver. And this is normally achieved by either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The Weber Connect offers you both of these options. Wi-Fi is the most advanced of these two options, giving you the ability to monitor your cooks anywhere in the world with internet access. But if you don't have access, then you always have Bluetooth as a backup, as this only needs you to turn Bluetooth on on your phone. The main display. The main display has to go down as a key feature, but for its minimalism and not for being data rich like most other thermometer displays. I've seen several people saying this is a negative feature, but I guess it all depends if you like minimalist design or not. After all, everything you need is available in the app. The temp on the display is displayed in a big font size for easy reading. And if you rotate the unit, the display turns so that the number is always shown the right way. High and low alarms. You can set either a high alarm or a temp range alarm which is basically a high-low alarm. The alarm, when triggered, is a low double beep sound on your thermometer that isn't unpleasant and is easy to switch off. My bigger worry would be missing the alarm. As well as a temp alarm, you also have an alarm triggered if the probe accidentally gets disconnected. The app. With the main display being so minimalist, you'll need an app that has a great interface and shows you all the info you want on a single screen. And I guess you have that on the barbecue screen of this app. You have all four probe temps here and any temp alarms or timers. You also have icons showing whether you are connected to Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And the last bit of useful information on the main screen is how much charge is left in the transmitter. You really don't want this to die on you mid-cook. So Weber has done great with this main screen. But past that, everything else is either too basic or too complicated. For example, in the settings cog, the only thing useful in there is changing the Fahrenheit to Celsius. You don't have any options on how you want your alarms to work. You also can't give your probes names like beef or pork so you know the piece of meat it is reading. And there is also no temp graph for the cook. None of these are big issues, but they are easy wins for Weber, so should be added. A complicated example. The recipe presets are harder to understand than they should be. I like that Weber has tried to give you something unique, but they should have started with some basic presets, like having beef, then the option of rare, medium, etc. Depending on what you choose, a recommended temp should then be given. Having presets for loads of different cuts and times for cooking I feel is overkill for the average user. All in all, a good app, but it definitely has room for improvements. Holders The Weber Connect comes with a magnetic back to help place the thermometer next to the grill safely. Obviously, any little extra like this helps. The magnet isn't the strongest, it feels a little weaker than other thermometers I've used, but it does the job it was made to do and I've never had it fall off once placed. Extras. When I bought my Weber Connect, one of the extras I wasn't happy I had to buy was the two extra probes to be able to make full use of Weber's four probe capabilities. As this thermometer is already at the higher end of thermometers in terms of cost, I think it's a cheeky ask. I'll probably use this thermometer between two different grills so I went for an extra ambient probe and meat probe. If you just have one grill, you are better off with two extra meat probes. If you are mad about grilling like me, you probably have lots of grill gear. And storing your items, as well as finding them after, has become a problem. So I always like it when I can buy a storage case for any of the gear I purchase. And Weber has a nice case available for the Weber Connect that fits all four probes. Most good thermometers come with magnetic holders. With the makers just assuming everyone has something metal next to their grill to stick it to. Well, Weber doesn't assume this and offers you the option to buy a mounting kit 
that offers you several different ways to hold your thermometer. Accuracy Unlike lots of other thermometers, especially those at the high end of the thermometer market, the Weber Connect doesn't give a temp reading error range. So you can't be sure the thermometer has gone through testing and the company is happy to claim the probe will not be out by a certain amount of degrees. For example, the ThermalWorks Signals thermometer claims to be correct to plus or minus 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. I can't find this information on the Weber Connect anywhere. Of course, I will not be able to do the tests the thermometer company puts its probes through, but I will be able to do the classic ice water and boiling water tests. We know ice water should read at a temp of 32 Fahrenheit and boiling water at approximately 212 Fahrenheit once altitude is taken into account. I have linked to a boiling water to altitude chart in the description if you want to do your own tests. The Weber Connect's readings were pretty good and in a range where you'll not have any problems with your cooks. The ice water reading came in at 33 Fahrenheit and the boiling water reading was 210 Fahrenheit. My altitude is approximately 444 feet so the perfect reading would be around 211.7 Fahrenheit. Ease of use Once you have the thermometer set up with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, both of which were very easy to do, the basic functions of the thermometer are super simple. You just place the probe in the meat and the ambient probe on the grill, turn on the transmitter and open the app and that's it. You can now monitor temps. I'd say the app takes a little getting used to and I think Weber should get some people to work on the user experience of the app. Some basic elements like being able to use your finger to spin the temp range to where you want them. Instead you have to tap a button and then select change temp setting and then manually add the temps by pressing numbers and then selecting OK. It's a lot more long winded than it should be. Pros and cons I know I have mentioned it several times already, but giving you just two of the four probes the Weber Connect can handle is definitely a con. One feature I have to add to the cons section, even though it wasn't as big a drawback as I imagined it would be, is the digital display only showing one probe's temp. Compared to some of the competition, this can best be described as minimalist. I said I didn't find it that big a drawback, so best to say why. With early versions of thermometers I used, the apps weren't very good, or they didn't have apps at all. So having the information available on the digital display was imperative. This isn't the case now, and I find myself going to the app more often than not, as the latest apps are all of good quality. I wanted to get some more information on the Weber Connect, as the specifications on their website didn't give much information. Most thermometers state their accuracy range. But I couldn't find this on the Weber's site or in their instructions manual. So I looked to contact them, but this is blocked by a wall of frequently asked questions and an automated chatbot. After a few minutes, I just gave up. So the customer service is getting marked as a con. I'd have much rather had a USB-C charger instead of the micro USB charger cable that comes with the Weber. This is because I have a lot of small devices and nearly all use the USB-C cable. So I can easily use one of these if I can't find my Weber cable. If you have lots of micro USB devices, this obviously won't be an issue. I'm not a big fan of how you turn the device on and off. There is no button as such, and you just press your finger in an area, not knowing if you're in the right spot and how much pressure to apply. On sites like Amazon, the Weber Connect has been given many bad ratings, which has affected their overall rating for the recipe section of their app. I think this is pretty unfair, as most thermometers don't even have a recipe section. So a bit harsh if the reviews would have been better if Weber had just deleted this section. I'm not going to go over the pros again as I covered them in the key features section. But to recap, the pros are having Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The ease with which this thermometer is to set up, the quality app, the magnetic holder 
and the nice extras I could buy. And one last pro I've not mentioned is this thermometer is water resistant, which means you don't have to panic with a little rain. Competition. As I have outlined, the Weber Connect is a great thermometer, but it isn't perfect and other thermometers might be a better option for you. So let's look at a few thermometers that offer many of the same features and ones that offer different key features to the Weber Connect. We will be reviewing all the competitors in separate videos, along with many other bits of barbecue kit. So if you'd like to see this, subscribe to this channel. I'd also appreciate it if you could hit the like button for this video. It really helps. Thanks. Thermoworks Signals If price dictates quality, then the Thermoworks Signals is the best dual probe thermometer in the grilling marketplace. So it's a great thermometer to compare the Weber Connect against. For a start, the obvious difference. The transmitter units aren't really comparable. Thermoworks have gone for an all singing and all dancing display, giving you all the information you'll need from all four probes at a glance. Weber, on the other hand, have gone for a minimalist look. So do you prefer the sleek looking cool design over the information rich unit? Once you look past the obvious, these two thermometers are very similar. Both have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth options and very good apps to monitor your cooks. Both have the ability to have four probes, but of course Weber only gives you two probes. And I can't compare the accuracy of the probes as Weber doesn't give this information. Inkbird IBBQ 4BW The Inkbird IBBQ 4BW is another dual probe thermometer that has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and is definitely a thermometer that you should consider as the price is slightly lower than the Weber Connect and it comes with all four probes. It will probably come as no surprise but the digital display on the transmitter of the Inkbird also displays much more information than the Weber Connect. Thermopro TP930 Wi-Fi is the tech that makes high-end thermometers cost so much. So if this is something you're not going to use, as you always stay close to your cooks, then you might be best looking at an alternative to the Weber Connect. And the Thermopro TP930 is one such thermometer. Like the Weber, the Thermopro TP930 is a compact Bluetooth dual probe thermometer that can monitor four probes. They both also have quality, easy to install apps. And as with every other thermometer I've used, the transmitter of the TP930 shows more info than the Weber Connect, but not much more. So, the question you must ask yourself, is having Wi-Fi worth paying more than double what you would for the Thermopro TP930? I love having Wi-Fi, but if I'm honest with myself, I rarely need this feature. But when I do need it, it's a lifesaver. Inkbird IBBQ 4T. If having Wi-Fi is a must, but you still want to save a little money, then maybe go for a thermometer with just Wi-Fi and not Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The Inkbird IBBQ 4T offers this and is a great thermometer similar to the Inkbird IBBQ 4BW we mentioned earlier. Bluetooth is very popular with thermometers, but do you need it if you have Wi-Fi? Most people will never cook where they don't have access to the internet, so having Bluetooth as a backup will never get used. Of course, if you work in mobile catering, you might be better off having Bluetooth as an option. Most other features on the Inkbird are very similar to the Weber, so it's a personal choice on needing Bluetooth and saving a few bucks. Thermopro TP27. If both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth all sound a little too tech savvy for you, or for the person you are buying the thermometer for, then you should have a look at the Thermopro TP27. It is wireless still, but uses old school radio frequency instead of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Thermopro also gives you a dedicated receiver to use instead of your phone. Unlike the Weber, which has most of the information on the receiver, your phone, and hardly anything on the transmitter, the TP27 has all its information on the transmitter. 
This part of the unit can be used as a standalone thermometer. But a nice extra is the small receiver you can clip to your belt in order to keep an eye on your cooks. Final thoughts. When it comes to buying a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth dual pro thermometer, you don't have a massive number of options. These are high-end, expensive thermometers, so are only made by a handful of the top companies. So should the Weber Connect be one of the thermometers you consider? Yes, for sure. It's a great thermometer with some nice extras you can buy. But it is probably more expensive than it should be, considering it only comes with two probes. Of course, if the price is not a problem for you, this should be one of the thermometers at the top of your list of potentials, along with the ThermalWorks signals. And for a slightly cheaper Wi-Fi and Bluetooth option, you should look at the Inkbird IVBQ 4BW. If price is a big driving factor in your decision, then I'd say have a look at the thermometers that don't have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, such as the Thermapro TP27, TP930 and the Inkbird IVBQ 4T. These are all great thermometers, so choose whichever one best suits your personal criteria.